Hey guys, happy Friday. Woo woo! Um, starting another weekend vlog on a Friday, which is good. Um, I've just finished work for the day. Well, hopefully if no more Slack messages come through. And I'm heading over to see my friend Karen and my godson Maxwell and her husband Lenny. Um, so, a uh, quick outfit of the day, really simple, just wearing this... Um, uh, what do they call these? Like cami from Zara, some Zara jeans, and this belt from ASOS. Um, I'm going to take a quick outfit of the day picture, I think. But the plan for this weekend is I'm going to be cooking Ugandan food for the first time in probably about six years, like a full on meal. Um, so going to be vlogging that tomorrow. I'm testing myself just to see if I've still got it in the kitchen. And, um, yeah, my boyfriend gets to be my, um, tester. <laughs> um, lucky him, hopefully. So yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to go pick up the ingredients from London. I'm, I also need to do some Zara returns and film a haul as I have just had my shoes arrive so i did a big order from molly may's new um shoe collection or shoe line with public desire no with ego so i'm going to try those on and do a quick review of some really really nice shoes so if you like um any of the balenciaga meals is it balenciaga i think it's balenciaga um the kind of quilted mules they're either balenciaga or chanel but if you like those you'll like these i'll pop in a picture so you know what i'm talking about um but yeah some really nice um items in that so you'll see those in a separate video which will probably have gone up before this one so i'll pop it on the icard if it has um but yeah it's a lovely day it's 28 degrees in the uk which is a record so i'm gonna pop my sunnies on take a quick outfit pick over my spot and head out um but otherwise hope you enjoy the vlog make sure you subscribe and come and follow me on instagram to see the outfit pic trying to get to 10k <laughs> all right i'll see you guys later okay so we switched tact a bit and i basically decided to um oh so dark in here that's not it yeah to do like hair up because it just works better for the photo so there you go, a little behind the scenes at my Insta pics. So let me edit this, upload it, and head out. Hey guys, I am off to the park today. It's a lovely day, so um, we are going for a picnic. Um, I've got on this pretty little thing, um, I don't know, crop top, my Zara jeans again, some sandals, and this really cute um, basket bag from Zara as well. So. Oh, I'll show you my makeup. I'm not very happy with it, but you know, it'll have to do. Um, I cut my hair at the front and then just curled it a little bit more. So that is the style we are going for. But yeah, I'm running late, so I need to pick up some supplies from Aldi. So I'm going to be vlogging on my phone, so the quality might change. But I know yeah. some boy. <laughs> uh, what's his <laughs> like that you've got? Are you recording? Yeah. So we've got fake parties. So they're just frozen wholemeal ones and I'm just going to fry them up. We've got the banana leaf or luombo. We've got the groundnut stew, aka binyewa. We've got a little, you know, little wild card. We've got some plantain. I'm going to fry this. We've got the feast de resistance. Say it with me. Matoke. We've got sliced spring greens. I don't know what we call this in Uganda, but apparently the Kenyans call this skumawiki. And we've got some spinach puree to go in the groundnut stew. We've got some mackerel in brine to go in there as well. And for the meat, vegans look away. Sorry about that one. Don't leave me. Some diced beef. So, me and my sous chef, we're gonna get cooking, not drugs, food. <laughs> and we will show you the finished product at the end. Okay, so I've sent um, Mr. to go get the honey. 
for now, just to keep you abreast of what I'm doing, um, I basically put the beef, I put in some oil, and then I drop the beef in, and then I put in garlic, fresh garlic, and then garlic salt and black pepper. And I'm just letting that marinate. And then it comes back with the honey, and I'm just gonna pop that in there and just let that soak up all that flavour. Um, this is the ground nuts um, paste. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add hot water to that and then just keep stirring it until it comes into like a like a stew basically. <laughs> um, and then um mean ah oh, chopped tomatoes. Okay, I need to tell them to get the chopped tomatoes. Two secs, I'll be right back. Okay, so it's pretty hard, but basically what I've got to do is get all these little bits dissolved until the, the paste just becomes nice and smooth, like porridge basically. So no lumps whatsoever. So we're going to be here for some time. <laughs> and then after I will add the spinach puree and macro in it just to kind of get it seasoned. Um, yeah.
avocado, whole milk chapati, plantain, rice, matoke, beef stew in Luwombo, um, ground nut sauce with mackerel and spinach, and they're called, I don't know what they're called in English, spring greens or something, but the Kenyans apparently call it school. Um, I'm going to film this for my mum and then we are going to dish up and eat. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. I am pretty dressed up for a standard working day, um, but I'm just about to do an IGTV um, trying on all of these shoes from the Molly May and Ego collection. So I thought I would vlog once I'm done and kind of show you the different pairs and what they look like. So I'm going to put you guys down next to my phone, which I'll be like using for the recording and just sort of talk you through it. Um, the video I do on my phone will be silent. So it's all good. So yeah, if I keep you there. Okay. Okay, so the next pair are these Otega Veneta dupes, which will be a whole lot easier to try on. These are cool, but maybe we need a slightly higher heel height. Right, next up, we've got my faves from the collection, which are these gorgeous, gorgeous nude pair, which I think are a way better dupe for the Bottega heels. I would say size up in these because it is quite tight to get your foot into the sort of woven bit at the front. But once you do, hello. Okay, so the final pair is this gorgeous nude pair of strappies, which I believe she was wearing in the advert. So it got on nice and easy because that last strappy pair was not a fun time. <laughs> Hope you guys can hear me around right this. I would definitely say on this collection you want to size up. Um, because... Um, especially on the shoes with like the woven bits, um, because they are quite, what can I say, tight, all oh, these are, and I thought I would style them with like, you know, these ripped denim jeans, because it's kind of like a, jeans and a nice top type vibe, okay, it's a cute. Heels on them. Yeah, cute. Nice. Just thought I'd give you a final view of these, which I love. I think these will be the only ones I potentially keep. So, yeah, all done.